The Chief Justice's call came as he discussed proposals to the land law following a series of public complaints in the way the land law was being implemented by the courts. The meeting was particularly concerned about how recent land evictions had been carried out, occasionally resulting in a loss of property and lives. Chief Justice Bat Katurebe revealed that there was a need to review the land law. What you call guidelines should be substantive provisions of the law, which will affect government leaders, the courts, the beliefs, the community. Where the magistrate has done his work or her work, the court of, uh, the high court has done its work, the court of appeal has done its work, and you decide to go political, for us as a court we shall say, solve it there. The meeting proposed that land evictions should be preceded by a court properly identifying those taking part in the eviction should see police and local authorities notified to ensure law and order be carried out in a manner that respects the dignity, right to life, property and security of those affected take place between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. during the working weekdays. In addition, evictees should be issued adequate and reasonable notice of intent to consider an eviction of not less than six months, issued a notice in writing or through public barrazas and broadcast media in the national and local languages spoken. Get an eviction notice containing the all necessary particulars of the land. These directives have received divergent views. We see what we call respect and dignity in undertaking these kind of orders. And then we are going to see elimination of unlawful evictions. This is completely unfair because Look at the situation where someone has been in court for years and after getting judgment, then is subjected to six months waiting. These directives will now be taken to the Rules Committee for further discussion. However, it now remains to be seen if these guidelines will address some of the issues causing land conflicts in the country. Sandra Tunovdio, NTV Tonight.